screen running in progress and you're going to have to go say got it uh, and then we will start hi everybody um well, my name is jean blackwell Vaughn. i'm here at collaborative in miami thank you for joining us for, for collaborative and connect in conversation with we are starting some uh, uh, a new a new thing it's always good to start something new. Something um, new. Today we're going to talk with Maria. I'm going to mute everybody because we're getting a lot of. Let's see, I'm just going to mute everybody. Okay, you guys put yourselves on mute. That's great. Thank you. Um, so Maria Patino is uh, really one of the artists that has been here at Collaborative. Um, she's one of the reasons we expanded into the space behind us. She's a dear friend and a really very talented, multi-talented artist. She does everything. She paints, she does murals, she works with illustrations, she does collage, she does beautiful altar books. I have an official, official bio that I'll read to you. Um, and in conversation with is really just bringing other views and perspectives of, around collage into what we're doing here with Collage and Connect. So our first guest is Maria Patino. She's a multimedia artist with a studio in Little Havana. And if you listen closely, you might actually hear the roosters in Little Havana hanging out outside her window. Um, she works intuitively, guided by memories and imagination. Her preferred techniques are mixed media and paper collage, which is why I love her. She is interested in the aesthetic of color, texture, and form, and its potential to communicate universal messages of the past and the present. Um, I have some, I just walked in and I got confused. Past and present. So old books, old photographs, other discarded ephemera become elements of her artwork, merging through layers of colors and textures to create a new story about identity, community, and nostalgic reflection of the past. She was born in a little village in the Andes Mountains in Colombia. She's lived in New York and Texas, and now she's with us here in Miami. And um, I hope that you will adore her as much as I do. Uh, Maria Patino. Here wow, on. that was nice, thank you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're on, yes, I see you, I hear you. Awesome, welcome everybody. Just honored to be here. Um, yes, I love collage, like I'm sure everybody else does in this group. Um, I don't mind if you ask questions or interrupt me while I'm speaking. Um, the idea of coming together to make art together, but I wanted to give you an idea on what I do, what I love doing. I have a passion for mixed media and I'm gonna show you one of my latest artist books. Um, so I started with altered books I did this for a while, which is an old book, and you just recycle um, a hardbound book, especially the ones that are um, not glossy. So this is this is one I made about maybe seven years ago. I'll go really quick and to show you the this one of the last ones. I have about um, I will say. Last time I took inventory, I had about 30 books that I've made. And um, lately I'm obsessed with making my own books. I got tired of just using old books. So I started making my own. This is one of the altered books. And this is one that I started in uh, 2020 and I finished it last year. So the, the uh, cover for this was uh, given to me. And I took all the pages out and I started assembling the pages one by one. So either I will put a blank page or I will make it and add it or it, it just did so many different things that I even forgot what I did here. But anyway, so the idea is to um, tell a story. Uh, I call my books um, visual diaries because they are about, can you guys see? Jean, can you see my books? Sorry. Sure. Um, yes. In fact, okay. I can highlight that if you prefer. There we go. I'll highlight that okay. instead of you. Oh, huh? look at that. There we go. Now we see it really well. Awesome. So it's like 
um, I work with uh, my own prints, uh, magazines, my own drawings. This is an original drawing that I cut out from my sketchbook. This is another drawing I did on line paper because uh, sometimes I get bored and I have to draw somewhere no matter what I have. So this is another one. Just part of a drawing and a little watercolor painting. So I collage everything basically. Sometimes I add words, sometimes I write my own things. Uh, so this is from a Loteria. This is a print I made. This is a little pocket. I I used to collect, I used to do um a lot well, I used to practice writing affirmations and reading my affirmations. So I wanted to include that. I haven't done that in a while, but I went back to it. Anyway, so yeah, this is this is what I like doing. And so yesterday I had the honor of God, it was one of those things that it just happened to be because you're in the right place. Um, I went to an exhibit at the Frost Museum, and there is a show right now for Machines for Living by Artie Herder. I don't know if any one of you have heard of this lady before. This is the first time I've heard of this artist, and she is from uh, Pennsylvania. She moved to New York. She was born in the 19, she was born in 1929, died in 2000. No, 1909, died in 2009. So this is her work. And I'm in love with her work now. So I would love to do one inspired by her. This is someone else's made a portrait of her, of Robert De Niro's dad. And this is the beginning of her career. Uh, let me just show you her work. This, this is towards the end of her career. She did this beautiful assemblage of um, papers and cardboard and tickets and all kinds of things that she will find to create this beautiful um, interior spaces. This is another one, race. It's the same thing. So you will use aluminum foil, cardboard, and this is my favorite piece. I don't know if you guys can see it, this one. So this is my inspiration for this, uh, for today's um, collage that I'm gonna be making. So I'm thinking um, symmetrical, I'm thinking uh, organic and geometric shapes, uh, a combination of maybe some, some of my bomb papers and things that I have printed. Um, so, it's up to you, whatever you guys do, obviously. Um, but this will be my inspiration, this piece. This is called Anti-Romantic, made in 1968. What is and it called? And a Anti-Romantic? Anti, yes. Love it. <laughs> this one. Okay. And it just seems to me like a little outer. It could also be a face. Because this could be the hair, this could be the eyes and nose, and the mouth, and the chin, and the cheeks. But somehow I keep seeing this uh, outer. And okay. so tying it to Day of the Dead, maybe doing a little altar for Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico and Central America for the, during the first and second of November. So I'm tying up uh, two things, Adi Herder's work and this, um, the Day of the Dead, okay? Um, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm in, uh, I don't know if you could hear the roosters. I'm in the little Havana space and I hear a lot of people going by. So you're gonna hear people talking. Um, so this is something I, I don't know, I just thought that I should do again because I'm always re reinventing the wheel. Uh, so I found this book and I took all the pages out. Here and I'm adding to this. So this is, this is just something I started gluing to white paper and some of my drawings. So this is my, the book I'm currently working on. It's been about a year. I keep adding, and so I wanted to do this one here. Oh, um, so this may be symmetrical. Maybe I should put this way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't really work this way. I think the book wants to, me to work this yeah. way. Does anybody have any questions? You're welcome to interrupt me and say anything. Yeah, so if you guys want to, you know, you can turn on your mics, you can turn on your cameras if you like, but um, Shana was asking, what adhesives do you use? Ah, I use tape, glue. I use all kinds of glue, from Elmer's glue all to um, acrylic medium to almost anything. I'm not, I don't, 
I don't have any restrictions to what I do, but I do like to use cold wax at the end. I could, once I'm finished, like, let's see if I find a page that I've used cold wax on it. Once I was, I think it's this one. I was done with this one and I wanted to protect the page. So I used um, about two layers of cold wax at the end and it just seals everything. So this one, and I think this one has it too. And I don't use it on all the pages, but for gluing, I do not like to use glue sticks. I just think that, I don't know, I think that heat sometimes um, makes the, paper, the little pieces of paper fall off. So I do not like using uh, glue sticks. Unless I'm doing something temporary, I do, but I, I don't know, there's something about glue stick that I don't like. Could be that, I don't feel like it's permanent. And what I do, I, I want it to stick to what I'm doing. I do like the, um, aesthetic of using tape. Um, I love tape and that's something new that I'm doing. I actually didn't do that before. So I love the rawness of just the edges. Um, and sometimes I use washi tape like to embellish pages, not all the time, because I don't want my artwork to look the same on every page. So I don't want that look. But look, like if I use washi tape, I would just cut little pieces of it and rip it again. Not cutting, ripping. And to create, I'm gonna do a border. Just kind of play around with a border. And I I said an altar, but I guess this is gonna be as, asymmetrical altar because this is not symmetrical at all. So I'm gonna be using um, mm -hmm. the element of repetition. We know the element of art, principles of design, what is the principle of design? Uh, repeating. Maybe the patterns repeating already, uh, the textures. Yeah. <laughs> it's already collapsed. And this part uh, here was this is from a, something I cut out from a painting that I had done. And I just saved it. I save everything. Like I have, let's say, for example, this container is full of little pieces of paper. Can you see it? Like, like I just gather things together. Yeah, that. Oh, this one is full of little small pieces of fabric that I that I collect. So I can come back to it and use it. So I have this on like really close to me, so I don't have to be going crazy looking for it. So I want to share that you know Maria and I had studios next to each other. And so she and I would just really go through each other's stuff. We would really share stuff, yes. materials, techniques, ideas. Um, yeah, it's this really, this reminds me, you know, we would go to sit in her studio, five, six or 10 of us would just go and sit and, and really just make work together. And it was kind of the beginning of this creative creative play idea, you know? So it's really perfect that you're the first person to do this in conversation with, because you kind of helped to create this in the first place. Um, well, I, and, I love my space, but I miss you guys. I miss it I know. Mm -hmm. our get togethers, our- Yeah, they've changed a lot of that. I don't know where to go with this. That's so important to me to have a community of people that understand you and 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 help you grow. But that's how I feel about communities. Yeah. When we have people around us that love art and are your supporters and you do the same thing for them. So I, I do miss that a lot. Um, I feel like sometimes I'm alone here, <laughs> but I love my, I love that I could go downstairs and, and eat, have a cup of coffee. Yeah, but no, I, I think it's, it was great. It was great. My, that was my favorite place in the whole wide world, being your neighbor. Yeah. So I, for mine, I just did a wash of uh, pink. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. I do have a blow dry. I just take it off and let it dry. I'm going to do that. So I wanted to create a background before I start gluing things. Some people like to glue things and then uh, add embellish the background and then uh, add paint to the background. I don't like doing that because sometimes when you do that, 
the glue becomes a, a resistant to your background. Um, and maybe I don't want that. So I'll really just paint it however I want to paint it and come back. I see all these little spaces I didn't paint on purpose. So I'm going to come back to it and do something. I don't know, I have this piece of things here. I like circles a lot. This is from something I'll, somebody gave me this, a bunch of little circles. For this. Is that so punch finger? Yeah, yeah. So I don't glue things right away. Oh, I like this negative space there. I have to glue my hand there. But I did say I was gonna do an altar. So I'm thinking of that what, as I'm working. Um, this is from, you know what this is from, okay? What? This paper and this paper came from uh, James. Oh. A lot of this stuff I, I have because I just say yeah. it. I don't want this to be red. <laughs> So this is just little pieces of paper that I've been collecting. So for some reason, it doesn't work when, when you look at it the first time, but then you come back to it and it may work the second time. I don't know if I want to add this one. I do like this one a lot. Maybe the other side. Yeah. And Maria, I forgot to tell you, we have this rule here. There are no rules. <laughs> Yes. Okay. No rules. rules. You know, so um, whatever people decide to do today, it's I like this idea of of the altar and the Dia de los Muertos. I love that because, of course, we're right here with with all of those days coming right up. Um, yeah. And I usually, you know, with with Collage and Connect, there's usually a prompt that comes in advance, and so people are sort of primed and ready and they had their materials. But today, um, I, I like the idea of this in conversation to just sort of keep it open, you know? So there's, mm -hmm. a, you know, there's this unexpected kind of element to it because it really is about whoever's coming in the door, the virtual <laughs> studio door and sharing their work. Of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just thought of something. I think I'm gonna do an altar for women around the world. Thank so I'm adding, I'm adding this four piece, this three pieces. Okay. So, so you've talked now, you said you're gonna do an altar and you're kind of pushing pieces around. So you keep the idea of the altar in your head, but you really are sort of kind of walking around in the dark while you're doing it, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, there's yes. no- and I don't know the there's no first destination that you're headed toward. You just kind of have an idea. No, and this is a perfect time for me to read something. One of the artists quote, which I, I it was so inspirational to read this because you started this. And what you just said, there's no rules. So this is one of her quotes, which I thought it found it very interesting. Let me see if I, okay, this is, this is her quote. This is the same artist that I was talking about. So go back. <laughs> I try to get as close as possible to defining the undefinable. The work grows. The work, the works grow. They take on lives of their own. They make their own demands. Each work has its own vocabulary. And I love that. Yeah. I love that. Because yes, you are thinking, but you're still allowing the colors and the patterns and the textures to kind of guide you on where you are going with it. Right. So even though any any rules you're making choices according to what you have you're playing with so both don't you just want to be know that the sun is up already i know they studied i don't know they do this all day long they do this all day long i guess they figure somebody's still asleep i don't know exactly <laughs> I guess you get used like, to it. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna start gluing because I just sometimes I just get excited when I see something. And I do love lace and fabric. So I'm gonna start with the background. I'm gonna add this lace and I'm looking for a good brush. I love my old brushes. Like I love old brushes. I think they work best in the newer brushes. 
sa man apply man i get an idea how much i'm gonna how much i need for gluing so let's see like about this much and if i need more glue up more glue. so for this one i'm adding this i'm using this glue for all purpose glue um a much patch also works well but it, i like the matte one i don't like the shiny one and uh, but Elmer's glue is so cheap sometimes that it's just that works too for me. Yeah, I like I do like Elmer's glue. I do use glue sticks, but I do like Elmer's glue as well. And it's funny that's always one of the questions we get during Collage and Connect. People ask what you know what do you what adhesives do you use? Mm -hmm. And I have learned to I have learned to love the Yuhu stick, the blue glue stick. Yeah. Um, I do like it, but then I I do tend to um, either put a gloss or a layer of Elmer's over it because I just want to like shellac everything down, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody wants to look at my books, I have more books on Instagram. Sometimes I have videos. I make the videos on my books. Yeah, I'm going to put your, do you have books on your website? Because I have your link to yeah. your website. Yes, I have. An, an uh, Maria Pestino Studio, right? Yeah, and um, yeah. I wanted to share that here so people can see it. Put a lot of glue because it's, it's lace. If I put a little bit, it will dry out. But again, I don't know where I'm going with this. This one kind of looks like a breast to me, but yeah. it wasn't, I think it was part of a sculpture. But I like it because it's, I'm going with feminine. And it, yeah, it kind of, yeah, it totally goes with what you're working on here. So there's, Mar I think Maria's. Hey. The website link. Oh wait, there's stuff in here. Um, oh my goodness. So Shana says uh, she randomly came. Wait, was that a bird or paper? <laughs> it's something just flew in here, but I don't know if it was a bird or paper. It's hard to tell. Randomly came across hundreds of old postcards dating back to the early 1900s. Oh my goodness. Some with notes, others are blank, but I can't wait to use them. Oh, I'm jealous, Shana. Oh my goodness. They sound lovely. Wow. I can't wait to use them to create art out of history. I love that. I totally, I totally am jealous. I have. Um, oh, just paper, you know, like these little books. Someone's so I don't know if you know that you could, I, I found this idea from, I don't remember who, it's not my idea. It's not my idea. I'm not going to take credit for something I didn't do, but gift cards are the best because you could always oh, yeah. and get rid of all the bubbles. Sometimes I end up with like 20 gift cards. And sometimes I feel silly asking people, don't, don't give it back to me when somebody gives me a gift card and I go buy something and I don't allow I learned them. from you, Maria. Can you hear me? I learned from you. Oh, I have like yeah. 40 of them. <laughs> so I feel silly telling people like, don't throw it away, I want it. No, no, no. No, if I, even when I just find random ones, I pick them up because because they work, they're good. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's go back to, ah, just start of something. Let's the other side. This. I still haven't, I still haven't, oh, I can't say that. Mm. I like how she creates the background with a color, like a paint or something in the back. And it's I, beautiful, I just, yeah. I still don't do that typically with my stuff. I just kind of get in there with the paper and then I put the color on top of on it. On top of it? Yeah, with markers or whatever. Right. I have my thumb. Let's see, I think I have to glue this. But I like that, the, the paint on the background. Yeah, it creates a real depth, right? It just yep. adds so much. Yeah, I really like Maria's work. I always have. I follow Thank her you. on Instagram. Oh, you see, you have an Instagram follower here. That's uh -huh. what I found out. Thank you. Oh, well, that's how you got up today? Yeah. Because you connect with so many people from around. What else is there? Oh, oh my cheese! Is it charged up? Yeah. Let me see who that is. I, I have six hundred and fifty likes for Han Village. I have a village. 
And sometimes instead of me using scissors, I rip things right off a ruler uh, if I want something straight. So I just did that. I don't know if it's doing it. Um, okay. Sometimes I look and I collect all kinds of things and I put it in bags and I go back to them and it's like some one time I had several containers full of them. Oh, that's a cool picture. Oh, I like that. Yes, it's a fun one. Very nice. Um, I like this too. I don't know how I'll use this, but I'm gonna just put it there. But I do not like to plan. I right? just how I work. Um, I don't like planning. Unless it's a it's a very important project and I do have to plan ahead and do a sketch and talk about it and do a research. But other than that, I just you know, like go with the flow. I like what we're doing here today. Yeah. I, yeah. And I hope everyone is, you know, making their collages. I hope everyone's, you know, doing a little creative play with us. If you haven't joined us before, I do see some new names. So the whole idea of creative play is as grown-ups, we don't get enough time to play. And and you know, this creative activity is just really a way to stir up parts of your brain that you don't that you may not use very often or that you really just need to energize after a long week of doing a lot of, you know, analytical thinking. Um so, you know, we do this once a month on a Wednesday night and it's a lot more in, interactive and there's, we're chatty and we, we share. This is a little bit more, um, you know, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more formulated, but, uh, but still I hope that people will ask questions. You know, you're welcome to turn on your cameras or just unmute yourselves and talk to Maria. However, you feel comfortable. I know I'm recording it, so some people get, uncomfortable with that um but you know if you have questions you can put it in the chat or you can ask just unmute yourself and do that we're trying to you know make you feel comfortable have community have conversation um but i do hope that you're doing a little creative play on your end too and in true collage and connect style when we get close to maybe 10 minutes left or so if anybody is willing to share what they've been working on um, you know, we'd love for you to turn on your camera. You can raise your hand, uh, show us what you've been working on because that's part of it. Making the work, sharing the work. That's that's part of part of what I love doing with this collage and connect. Seeing what other people are doing. Hi, how are you? My name is Lee Francis Rojas. Uh, this is the first first time that I connect. Um uh, hey. I I saw it on Instagram, so I I thought it I thought it, it is really interesting. I I love collage. Um, I work. I am an artist too. I work with uh paper, usually texture paper that I collage onto good uh, or or on a canvas. Um, and uh, well, I I I I'm having fun seeing Maria working right now. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I love so your work. What, what do you say? I'm your sorry? background is beautiful. Yes, it's, that's one of my works. That's a big one. That's a 72 by 45. Wow. That's a big one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah that's on, uh, on good frame. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. But thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. I hope you join us again. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> yes, it is. I am. I'm having a good time. 
Thank you for coming. Thank you. And I saw it today, just today, as I, um, I, I log in or I create my uh, or send invitation like five minutes before three. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, oh I'm so glad you joined us. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. you, know, you never know. Exactly. That's fantastic. Well, I, we, um, we do this. Well, now you'll be on our on our invitation list. So we do it um, third Wednesday. We do it in the evening, and it's an hour, and it's like this, just you know, conversational and fun. And I, like I said, I usually give a prompt, so I tell, I pick a word, so we all have something to kind of work toward. Um, and that's once a month. And we started doing this one now, where we have a guest artist. Maria is our first guest artist. Oh, great. So, and it's just a matter of sharing and connecting around collage. Um, because I think collage is so, it's so easy, to, you know, it's accessible. You know, yes. you don't have to know how to use a paintbrush and oil paint. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's paper, scissors. It's like yes. kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so much fun about collage. That you could just do yeah. anything together. Rip it if you don't have any scissors and go to 99 cents store and get a glue stick if you don't have a bottle of glue. Um, you ask around, there's always people that have a couple of magazines here and there. So it's just so easy. It's so simple. If I need another piece of fabric, I do not like this edge right here. And I'm thinking, I'm not supposed to be thinking, but oh, this I got at the hair salon. The hair, oh, is that like the hair tie things or whatever? No, no, these are for, I don't know what these are for on it. Oh, for waxing. Oh, oh. for waxing. Cut. <laughs> well, it's this quite appropriate for your. Yes, because you could, you could use this. Your and make whatever. You could cut it. You could paint it. You could glue many okay. of them to do something with it. It's so much fun. And I bought like a whole packet for, I don't know, I think it was less than $5. So I just found it. I forgot I had it. That's just some, some of those cool surprises. When, so I just, I don't know, just cut it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You'll find something. Yes. But I am trying to figure out what to do with this edge right here because I do not like that edge. I like this. I need gold paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just wrap it around. It's a little weird. Then rip it off. No. <laughs> Maybe it goes on the top. No, I don't like the top. Nah, I don't like that. I could use that for something else. I was looking more for maybe something like this. Ooh, this is, I used to make, let me see if I have any more. I would take, I was sewing machine and somebody broke it, so I can't use it anymore. But I used to take a bunch of little pieces of fabric and just stitch them together. So that, Like this too, not cool like this. For this, I will use a, a heavier glue. You know that works. I could use the same one. Is this? I like the reverse side too. I like the double stitching on the back. It's just love the rottenness of being so instead of using the back at the end use I mean the front is this right where the brush begins so I'm working around this page I know I started working right here now I started working here then here and here I'm here in my order and I'm working here but I don't have place, Maria 
I don't have any particular order. I'm lying. I just glue <laughs> things together. I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. But in reality, I just it's so much fun that it's so relaxing. There's no rules. I'm yeah. not sort of about this yeah. whole process. And I think that's why I have so many artist books because no one's telling me don't do it that way. And I I, I just glue and cut and paint whatever I want because I am going with the flow of things, flow of life and whatever's happening in my life. And that's how I do my diaries. I don't like this. So I'm just gonna pour it directly from the bottom. I put a lot of glue. The same glue I use, the same glue I show you guys. But for it to work, I will have to use lots of it. I'll clean that up in a minute. I like too much of it on the brush. Let's see. So let me measure it so I could cut it. We'll have to cut it when it's still at um, drying up. And this is a little bit of my writing that I sometimes I journal. So I'm just going to find a face that I like. And I'm going to put it somewhere here, maybe on the side. I'm missing a picture here. I don't know to put that. And I need to do something to this. I still need to type all these images. I do like the flow of this going around. Yeah. And I have to add something here. And I like to add more things here, like a border. So I like doing borders. So it tie up the entire piece. So I will do a border here, here, all the way around, but not reworking it because I don't want it to become too busy that it, we we don't see this anymore. But I want this to be the focal point. I'll probably use two colors, not black, maybe really thin markers. Let's see. So we found something I'd like to cut. <laughs> and so again, this is from my one of my uh, journals. Because sometimes I, since we live in Miami, I don't know so many of you do not live in Miami. Um, I like to go to places that I enjoy and I like to journal and I like to paint. Yeah, so I found something that says in the pres in the presence of nature. So I'm going to add it right there. I like that. I don't like this so funny. Let's see if I can paint this a little bit darker and let it dry. Actually, I'll just glue it and paint it. I'm in the mood of gluing now. I could also go vertical. Also glue it here, but if I put it here, I feel like it will divide these two spaces. I don't like that. But also go on the top. I go right here. I kind of like that. What do you think, Jean? Do you like this here or do you like it on the bottom? I like it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it's like mountains or something down there. Or it looks yeah. like I like it yeah. on the Yeah, I, I agree with you. I like that openness at the top. Yeah, I agree. And I could do something else up there. Um, I want my yellow bats to disappear with my car. I don't like this because it's cut, cutty. So do you just like tone out the roosters and the horns now? You don't even hear it? No, I opened the window so you guys could hear. Oh, that's, that's right. right. That's but sometimes right. I open it. I don't mind the roosters. I don't mind the sound. I like the roosters. Uh -huh. yeah. We hear them, right? <laughs> okay. We know exactly. that's, that's really interesting. That, a, a great background. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, no, sometimes I, I listen to music, so I don't, well, I listen to music all the time, what am I saying? Yeah, she's not always listening to Brewster's. That's loud. pretty <laughs> yes, But I do like the sound of uh, outdoors, people going you, by. You grew up in like, in a farm area, right? Yes, yes. Oh, I don't mind. Family. Reminds me of uh, Colombia. We had roosters yeah, and chickens. Right. And I grew up in in a place that well, it was almost like a farm. We had our own garden that we grew our fruits, our vegetables, um, and um, we had our own cow. That my brother would bring to the house to milk every afternoon, and every morning and every afternoon. So I love nature. I don't. I would love to live on a farm, but I say that, and I think this third, fourth day, I'm gonna be missing people. I'm gonna say, never mind. Yeah, we'll exactly. Come. Yeah, it's like. See, you know I love people. I don't know if I could yeah. live in. You love the idea. I think yeah, it's just the idea. I don't think I will do it. I know. We all say that we want to get closer to nature, but you know, we want to get closer to nature with our cell phones and our air conditioning. And, you know, exactly. Exactly. Our comfy so, beds. <laughs> yes. These are this. I love this. This is like water-based watercolor pencils. Let me see if I find a different one that we could that I could use. Um, but there's so much fun because whatever you do, like let's say I make marks here. And I could wear a brush. Oh. I love it. It. So they're it's called Stabilo and they're they come in different colors. Yeah. And they're thick. So you could color like big spaces with it. Um like oh, I this like I don't mind the black because it becomes gray once you wet. But it looks like it just blends in so nicely. Hmm. Interesting. So, For many, that's the problem when you walk into an art supply store. There's so many like things that we just don't know about, right? Yeah. Like but you ask you ask because sometimes depending on what your mood is, like sometimes I just go in for brushes and I know that I want to buy something else. So I just look around and I spent about 45 minutes just looking around. Oh. And I ask questions like, what is it for? And if they don't know, then I'll buy it and I'll use it. I kind of like this a lot, I but I don't know where to put this. <laughs> this is this is um, organic, organic paper, handmade paper. I really like it. Oh yeah. But it's just so so, so bright. Maybe on the bottom. Maybe somewhere here. I lift this. Oh, I like that there. Do you like it there, G? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't. What are you covering up? Oh, I see. There we go. Yeah, that uh-huh. That works. Because I wanted to I'm frame creating a frame now around yes. everything. I see, yes. That works. Is it on the top? I, I, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Oh. Blue. You know, every time I do this, the, the people who are on here regularly will know that I always say, I try to do less. I'm trying, I try to create like really simple collages with, you know, just a few materials. This is why I struggle because you know Maria is a friend and and we work together and we make stuff together and she doesn't do minimalist and I can't either. <laughs> no, we're all over the place. Yes, but it's not a bad thing. It's I not really a bad have thing. been trying. I really have been trying to do less. Like I'll show you when we're done. I'll show you the collage I did last. What was it? Last Wednesday, I guess, was the last time we did this. And I think I used maybe three pieces of paper. I was very oh, proud. that's not you. I know. I'm trying to get simple. I'm telling you. Don't worry. I'm making up for it today with this book that I'm working on now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I think. Um... I like this here, but I need something that goes there, which is, I don't know what. 
I like this. I like this image. It's right here. Oh. Destroying Shakespeare. Ooh, 347. Already? Wow. Yeah, time flies. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> okay. Hola, yeah. Anita. Espérate, déjame tumbar aquí. Ah, no. Perfecto. Eh, uy, acabo de escuchar tu mensaje. Me estoy preparando para salir, entonces cuando vi la llamada, pues dije, déjeme hablar con ella luego, pero bueno, como estaba vistiendo, me escuché el mensaje. Y... Ok. I hope you weren't talking to us, I'm sorry. I am uh, wondering if... Hey, Tom. How are you? Um, are... Do people want to share? Do we have stuff to share? Tom's ready to share. All right. I'm going um, to... I'm going to take... I'm going to put you on spotlight. How's that? Let's see what you got, Tom. This is Tom. Tom's in Rhode Island. Nice. Hi, Tom. Nice. Oh, see? Oh, He's nice. simplicity. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Picked it up off the street. And parking uh, ticket. Parking, uh, that's what I got, a parking ticket. I love those. Crash. I like that Very crash. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Look, oh, he did. Oh, <laughs> Very nice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank so you. much fun. Glad you made it. I love this with the what is with the green? What is the green? Is it just tape or paper? Tape, right? Just just a piece of cardboard box. Ah. Oh. An old cardboard box. Yeah. It looks great. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? Hi, Karen. I know Karen. I've seen you before. <laughs> yeah. You um, share? Yeah. So I usually work really slowly and I like to work slowly. But whenever I work quickly like this, I make things I, I don't think I would have made otherwise. So, um, oh, this is beautiful. And I wrote, when I think of life, I think of death as they are one. And I was just thinking, you know, my, my, my mom um, moved in, she's 94 and she's getting closer to making her transition. So I've just been thinking about, you know, the other side of the veil and, and death. And so this just kind of came together. It's wow, beautiful. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. What? What did you say, Maria? I said, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. very, yeah. personal, very beautiful. Let's see. Anybody? Oh, Shana. Thank you, Shana. Anybody else want to share? They got something to share. Oh, I can share. I haven't shared yet. All right. So I made up for last week. Here, let me put it on the thing. I'll do it make thick and big. There we go. So I'm working in this Shakespeare book, and it's still wet and sticky, but. I'm Very kind of cool. working in a book like you, Maria. I figured, let me love do it. Love the books. And this is all the different pages are folded over uh -huh. on top of each other. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. I don't know. I'm just trying new stuff. Yeah, it's going to be 
a sculptural piece, that whole section. Mm. Piece. Everything I do right. turns out land, uh, like a like a landscape lately. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you can flip it around. It becomes a landscape. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And I have I have a I have a visitor in the studio today. I have an in person get in. <laughs> In house guest, in studio guest, Sandra, right? Yes, Sandra. that was. Uh, Sandra came. I, I found that funny because I, mm -hmm. like someone else, I I found out about this uh, workshop, uh, like on now. Friday. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I thought somehow I thought it was at six o'clock. Sure. Yes. Not at six. No, and then I saw three. You know, oh, I can make it. Cool. But I didn't read that it was um online. <laughs> oh, because you came. Sandra came here for a drawing workshop that we did. Uh, uh no, it wasn't drawing. It was. He was a frotage with a. Frotage. Sebas. Sebastian. Yeah. yeah. She came here for a frotage thing we did, and that was in person. So that's the. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I will have somebody sitting here. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else want to share? Yes, yes, I have, I, I mean, it, oh, this is, I did, like, a month ago. Oh, oh I the, to show the something. background, yeah, bring it in let front of me. I'll let take the take, background off. Here, that work is Let me take good. the background. Let me take the, well, that, that's the background, a piece of mine. It's but really, I wanted to share another thing. <laughs> I feel like let I've me. seen your work. Are you here in Miami? No, I live in Weston. But, oh, but, I but I feel like I've seen your <clears throat> wow. oh, wow. wow. right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's showing, it's showing. And it has a lot of um uh, threads. Yeah. I love that. And this part it is a texture paper that I I broke it and I uh, glue around and then I use um Acrylic paint to paint over it. It's so beautiful. I'm putting the blinds because it's too dark here. Yeah, but we can. Still, yeah, we get a. It's hard to show up on a screen like this, but we get a yeah, vision. It's beautiful and it's big. I mean, yes. It's, well, it's twenty-four by twenty-four. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you. Right. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. So you're, so you're here. You're here in South Florida. Weston is. Yeah. I yes, like I live in Weston. Um, I next week I will have a, a workshop. At, I don't know if you're familiar with the Frank Gallery oh, at Pembroke Pines. So yeah. they they will have an event Saturday and Sunday, and I will be on Sunday there uh, doing three workshops at one, at two, at three, forty five yeah. minutes each, about uh, with mixed media. Oh, you know what? Um, if you you should have my email. But if, I'm gonna put my email in the chat. If you email that to me, I will share that with our community. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, because I you know I have a newsletter that I send out. Mm -hmm. I put the email for info at collaborative. Just send it to mm -hmm. me, and I'll share it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, of course. That's great. Um, anybody else? Brave, willing to shame. <laughs> Let's see, what time is it? We got five minutes. We can sit and quietly work if we like. I did put a couple of chat uh, links in the chat. Um, oh, Shana is from Delaware. See, I love that. I know, I usually ask, where are you? Where are you? I didn't do that this time. Um, Shana is in Delaware. Maybe you could just put on the chat. That's true. If you guys want to put where you're at in the chat, I love that. I do usually ask that because we get people from all over the world, um, Australia and London and Rhode Island and you know, across, the, across North America. So I always do love seeing where people are, 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 where their virtual studios are located. That's kind of how I like to present. Oh, there you go, San, San, Santa Cruz. San, but, Balmy Dayton, Ohio. Why do I feel like you're being um a little bit sarcastic? There? Maybe it is balmy in Dayton. What do I know? I haven't been there. <laughs> oh, thank you for your Instagram too. Thank you. Francis Rojas. 
Is it Lee Francis? Lee Francis. Francis. Lee Francis. Okay, Lee Francis. Works. Thank you. I love it. Like so that's it. great. We have all these all these little Instagrams and things. Um, thank you for that. Um, well, there you go. We have. We did it. We shared an hour almost of creativity, creative play. Um, like I said, I do this on the usually the third Wednesday, uh, six thirty p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, this was a good time for you. I'm going to try to do the Saturdays with a guest artist, uh, at least for the end of the year. We'll see how that goes, because it's different faces. I see different faces, and that's nice. Um, um, you you'll get an email saying, "Oh, there you go, the last of the warm days." Well, we are looking forward to cooler days here in Miami. It's been it's been a little warm, a little muggy. It's been a long summer. We have our, we have our um, in the warehouse. We have like one of those garage door things, so we actually have it open today. So it's nice and bright and beautiful. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So. That's all I think. You'll get an email from us saying, you know, thanks. There's a little survey that we're going to ask you to fill out. Please, if you get a chance, do that. And hopefully we'll get to see you again for the next one. Um, again, if you have questions about collage or materials or artists in Miami, you can always reach out to info at collaborative.org. Uh, if you sign up for our newsletter as an artist, I share all kinds of information, calls to artists, workshops, where you'll find new fences, things like that. Um, we're just trying to create a community here in Miami of people who consider themselves artists, claim the identity of artists. That's it. That's all it takes. And a little creative play every once in a while just to keep us happy. So um, thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Maria, for sharing. Thank you, um, thank you. And thank your, you Maria. And your art. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And that, I guess that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Bye. 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 Thank you, Jean. Bye. Thank you. Talk to you later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. For coming. Thank you.